This variety of options is known as family diversity, and many children spend periods of their childhood in different types of family formation. But it's not just the structure of families that's changed, it's also the organisation of family life. There are no longer clearly defined roles that there once were. In many families, both partners now work. And in some, neither partner works. And in others, it's the woman who goes out to work and the man who does the domestic labour. Or maybe not. And at the cultural level, people's views about the rules of family life have changed too. We no longer look down on people who aren't married, or indeed, have children without being married. So we are what we consume defined by the choices we make. And a characteristic of consumer society is to want new and better things, because we've come to believe they can make us better. So when the next brand of smartphone comes out, most of us will want one. And not just because of what it does, but also because of what it says about us. But consumerism doesn't end with material things. It goes way beyond that. We also have much more consumer choice today about our lifestyles and what we choose to believe in to bind my spell. and about who we want to spend time with and how a relationship should work. But although consumerism gives us much more choice, it also brings about more uncertainty. In what sociologists call the reflexivity of contemporary societies, we're constantly encouraged to examine and question our choices and maybe make better ones to make ourselves stronger, fitter, freer, richer, happier. And we can see this uncertainty reflected in changes in family life. The sexualization of children's clothes is now a mega cause for concern in the media. And teachers are concerned. Parents are concerned. The parents group Mumsnet are campaigning to let girls be girls. An official review recommended a clampdown on the sexualised wallpaper surrounding children. And a website enabling parents to highlight examples of child sexualisation was backed by the Prime Minister. And underneath all this worry is the concern that the innocence of childhood is being corrupted by the fashion industry. By TV by the internet, and so on. Sociologists are interested in what people are saying about the sexualisation of children and how this is being reported. But they need to go beyond these media headlines. They need to go out and look for themselves and dig a little deeper. And this is just what Dr Jane Pilcher and colleagues did. They went out and talked to young girls about their fashion choices. So what did they find? Sociologists have always been interested in the relationship between technology and society, and in particular, how the production of new goods and services might change people's behaviour, and their identities, and the ways in which they relate to each other. In sociology, looking at the relationship between new technology and social change is called taking a materialist approach. So how might these new technologies be changing family life? 